Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. Rallying patriots worldwide. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. I think Senator Mike Rogers said it best when the clip's coming up. Vladimir Putin, or Putty Put, as George W. Bush used to call him, is playing chess. And the people running the United States are playing marbles. Schoolyard, uh, gangster, Chicago thug types. I'm not romanticizing, as I say, Vladimir Putin. The point is, is that we've had a lot of guests on who don't think this is a very big crisis in the Ukraine bordering Russia. I do think it's a big crisis, but there's a lot of weird stuff going on in the background. We reported four days ago Russian troops were coming into Crimea. People said, oh, that's fear-mongering. It's in Reuters, it's in AP, Russia confirms military action, has been authorized. They've marched in the Orthodox priest, they're ready for war. Now, they're just trying to have a buffer zone in case the West takes 95%, basically, of Ukraine. They want that border zone, like in Georgia, like South Ossetia or Abkhazia. That's the interest, and to keep some of those ports uh, that are in that area. And that is 75% Russian in that area. So that's what's going on. But NATO's threatening military action. This is a big, big deal. We're going to be breaking that down coming up, obviously. Here's the headline out of Reuters. Uh, so, you know, the, the, the fake media out there, uh, like Raw Story and people, you know, don't put out an article saying that we made this up. Ukraine mobilizes after Putin's declaration of war. By the way, I don't attack sites like Raw Story that were much bigger than out, out of hand. I just saw an article this morning saying... Internet-only radio host and Tucker Carlson say Democrats connected to Ku Klux Klan. And, and, and I mean, it's well known. I'm on over 160 stations uh, in the top 25 talkers magazine, trade publications, 3 million listeners a day. One of the biggest news sites out there. Uh, 500, 600 million views on YouTube. But I am proud, though. I am proud. And that's what the... White House Media Matter says, basically, Internet only as well, that we did dominate first Internet. And then I did come from nowhere on my own druthers with the help of our great listeners and supporters that we're organic. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more proud. I wasn't installed at Fox News or CNN or MSNBC. I didn't come from the mainstream media into the alternative media to then dominate media. I came from nowhere access television to dominate media but who else can you say that about uh there's only one name i can think of just one name matt drudge Wh who else is there in news and and, and that paradigm shifting where the, the hot movies come from youtube now and then people get big you know shows on netflix out of as directors and uh, now the tables are turned where it really is more of a level playing field to a certain extent. It's still stilted, but more and more level. And then they sit there from their dying dinosaur position and go, Internet only radio host. Oh, my gosh. He's not like Piers Morgan with 380,000 viewers. He has 3 million a day. 3 million listeners. Then there's, I don't know, 600,000 podcasts and millions of YouTube views and all the rest of it. Everybody. I don't know how many views. I mean, conservative 3 million. That's in Arbitron stuff that's come out years ago off of, you know, just the stations that, that, that buy the ratings. Buy that. You have to subscribe to even be able to have access to them. And you've got to, just off the stations we have that get Arbitron, it was like 400 and something thousand for 15 minutes last time we checked with an ad agency. It's over 3 million over the show. I, I mean, you know. And you people sit there saying we're not legitimate because we came from nowhere? That makes me more legitimate, dumbass. Let me tell you, if it didn't global freeze my ass off, I don't know what it is. And, and the answer is pay more taxes to Al Gore. I know. 
I mean, people don't control reality. Global warming by humans is pure BS. You're BS, and you're in free fall, all of you. And so thank God, thanks for the lie, actually, saying I'm not associated with mainstream the media. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the Info War at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I am sworn upon the altar of God. Eternal to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is already Sunday. Can you believe it? The second day, the second day of March 2014. This year is just blasting past us so fast, even more than last year, like we're in a Lamborghini going down the Autobahn at 250 miles per hour. And the world is racing towards a new Cold War with Russia like never before, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the headlines right now from Reuters. Ukraine mobilizes after Putin's declaration of war. That is the quote, and that is what the Ukrainian installed NATO Western-backed EU uh, technocrat bankster prime minister uh, is saying the Russians have sent tens of thousands of special forces troops, tanks, helicopters into Crimea uh, that's 75% Russia and a questionable uh, ethnic zone. Uh, it's questionable whether it's really part of Ukraine. That's how World War II started, of course. Hitler going into Danzig and other areas that were questionable, whether they were German or part of neighboring countries. Uh, same thing into Poland. And so uh, Russia has sent troops in to protect their ports and facilities in that area. I want to be clear. I am not taking sides in this whole thing. Russia has a lot of corruption, a lot of problems. NATO, incredibly corrupt, has a lot of problems. The United States, hijacked by foreign banks, being looted and extracted, as Dylan Radigan properly said before he left MSNBC. The issue is George Soros, Hillary Clinton, the State Department, John Kerry, all the usual suspects in the last few years have pumped $5 billion. The U.S. ambassador to uh, Ukraine admits this last week. There's video clips. We've played them last week. Five billion dollars into Ukraine for this destabilization. And they're working with leftist groups. They're working with immigrant groups. They're working with white supremacist groups on record that are the main government now to install them in control. And I'm not saying the people didn't have beefs 
with the Russian influenced government that was there. I'm not saying they don't have beefs from pre World War II when Stalin killed close to 10 million Ukrainians, starving them to death. There's a reason the Ukrainians ran into the arms of Hitler thinking he'd be a liberator, and of course wasn't. It's kind of like Hitler's bad, so Stalin. Well, the West is bad, so is Putin. I mean, th this is the way history works, but the West is lighting the fuse in this situation. That is the issue that we're talking about here today. So, so for, for TV viewers, we'll have a document cam and go over some of these articles. But for radio listeners, you can just search engine any story I mention, and you can pull it up or go to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, follow us on Twitter at Real Alex Jones or our Facebooks. We have several Facebooks out there. Uh, or you can uh, also go to places like DrudgeReport.com. There's a lot of sites out there really covering and following this right now. But if you're a TV viewer watching us on InfoWarsNews.com or InfoWars.com forward slash show, you can actually see what's going on in a full bore radio slash TV production going on. We don't just have webcams. We pioneered what Glenn Beck and Howard Stern and many others have been doing the last five years or three years. Uh, we've been doing it for now 11 years, full video feeds from five different cameras in a TV studio to add a documentation level uh, to the radio. But at heart, we are a radio transmission, no teleprompters, no talking points, seat of our pants with liberty, justice, truth. Uh, our compass is common sense, God, and history. Now let's get in to the situation uh, on the border of Russia in Central Eastern Europe. Ukraine mobilizes after Putin's declaration of war. Reuters, Ukraine mobilized for war on Sunday and Washington threatened to isolate Russia economically with sanctions after President Vladimir Putin declared he had the right to invade his neighbor in Moscow's biggest confrontation with the West since the Cold War. This is not a threat. This is actually the declaration of war to my country, said Ukraine's Prime Minister Arzini Yakanuskuk, if I pronounced that correctly, head of the pro-Western government, also a super right-wing white supremacist, uh, that took power when Russia's ally Viktor Yushchenkov fled last week. I'm butchering all these names. Yamakovich said in English, Putin secured permission from the parliament on Saturday to use military force to protect Russian citizens in Ukraine and told U.S. President Barack Obama he had the right to defend Russian interests and national spurring Western pleas not to intervene. Now, what's wrong with this article so far? It says Russia has invaded basically all of Ukraine. Russia invaded an area 75% controlled by Russia, in many cases, going back and forth for 500 years, known as the Crimea. They've had the Crimean Wars, not war. This is a heavily disputed area. And it's 75% Russian. And that's where they've got their military bases and their ports already. So it's kind of like the U.S. still has Guantanamo Bay in Cuba because they always had it. Even though the communists took over, the Marines stayed there and said, you're not getting it. That's what's going on here. And I'm not defending the U.S. keeping Guantanamo Bay. It's gigantic, by the way. I'm not defending Russia coming in and grabbing the Crimea. But it's a very small area. And it's Russian, basically. And they've had wars for hundreds of years over it. Let's just get that straight. So they're not, they're telling you they've invaded Ukraine. That's not the case. But Russia, I guarantee you, wants and is inviting, just like happened in Georgia in 2008, in a South Ossetian Abkhazia, same kind of zones on the Russian border with Georgia, demilitarized UN zones with Russian bases in them. They're inviting the paramilitaries and the mobilizing Ukrainian military that says they're mobilizing for, for quote, war with Russia and admitting they can't win, begging for NATO to come in. Russia's waiting for them to attack. And then Russia will pour in and take half of Ukraine which is already pro-Russia, right up to the river and the border with the capital Kiev. And that's what's going to happen. That, that, that's where everything is pointing. So there you go. That's the facts. And they say later in the article, Russian forces have already bloodlessly seized Crimea, an isolated Black Sea Peninsula where Moscow is a naval base. That's it. That's where they are. That's where they went. So, so they later admit that, but but say they basically invaded all of uh, of Ukraine. It's, it's just not true. Okay, there you go. They took Guantanamo Bay basically like the Marines did.
Uh, let's move to the next article. Prime Minister, Russia has declared war on Ukraine. And that's an Infowars.com article. We're on the brink of disaster. We're at a red alert. He went on to say the video is...